Hey guys, so I just got back from the theater from seeing The Snowman. Um, this was a movie that I had got a trailer for many times uh, over the past few months, and I thought it looked fine. It was like one of those, like, eh, it's Michael Fassbender in a crime thriller about a guy who decapitates women and builds snowmans or something like that. I'm like, whatever. I so was like, that sounds like it'll be plausible. Or, like, it'll be fine. Uh, I love Michael Fassbender. I like, always kind of like these kinds of movies where it's a crime thriller versus trying to find a serial killer or a whodunit. Um, but, well, yeah, it should be fine. It didn't, it had, like, from what I could tell, a lot of really good actors in it. And I'm like, yeah, this can't go wrong. Um, but I don't know if anybody has noticed uh, since this movie came out. I think it came out internationally uh, before it came out in America. Uh, actually, I know it did. Uh, this has gotten really, really bad reviews. Like, it's gotten, like, I think up to right now, like, an 8 or 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. Like, I was like, damn. Like, how bad is this movie? Like, like my curiosity went from, like, like my, my, uh, you know, curiosity went from what want to see the movie to now kind of want to see it, why this movie was getting this badly received. Like maybe this is one of those movies that's like it's so bad it's good. Like you know, like one of those hidden gems that we get every so often. Like you know, it's gonna be like I'll be laughing my ass off and having a blast watching this movie, even if it's not supposed to be funny. Um, I'm like. Yeah, maybe it's one of those kinds of movies, you know? Like, I, I was going in, like, kind of optimistic, like, even with the not the same optimistic optimism that I had when I first heard about the movie. So, I was like, man, maybe this was, you know, this will be entertaining. And, yeah, this movie, first off, this movie fucking sucked. It sucked. It's not funny. It's not, the like, one of those so bad it's good. It's just fucking bad. This movie is terrible. This is a two-hour snooze fest. I, okay, I, I had to work earlier today, and I went right from work to the movie theater, and I was so fucking tired. I mean, I, I was tired all day. I was literally almost falling asleep at work, and I knew this was a bad idea going in as, like, Man, probably not a good idea to go see this movie when you're really just tired, but like, eh, maybe I'll be entertained. But goddamn, this movie had me, it was a hard time for me to stay awake in this thing. This because it was so fucking boring. Hell, this movie begins, I'm not kidding, with the sound of snoring. Yeah, like, it, that's a sign of, I was like, great, this is a sign of things to come, isn't it? And then, okay, this movie lost me within the first five fucking minutes. You want to know why? I don't know how many people know about this. I don't know. I know this is based off a book. I don't know if this is the fucking character's name in the book. I hope to God not. But how, I want to know how many people know the name of the main character Mike, who Michael Fassbender plays what his name is in this fucking movie. Take a fucking wild guess. If you said Harry Hole, you're right. Harry fucking Hole. Okay. Taking away the whole me snickering at that every time they said his name, uh, and it, yes, it's spelled H O L E. The last name is H O L E, so it's Hole. Like, yeah. Harry Hole, and he like is laughing. My you know, the four, like two year old to me is laughing at. He 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 said his name's Harry Hole. It sounds like a fucking name that you would hear like Bart Simpson say in the Simpsons when he's called Moe's Tavern. Like is Harry Harry Hole there? <laughs> I mean that's what it sounds like. <laughs> and then, but on top of that, it's just a fucking stupid name, like. I'm like, really? This is I'm supposed to take this movie fucking seriously now? In the first five minutes. And then 
just to make matters worse, there is no fucking characters in this fucking thing. Whatsoever. The only reason, the only character I know the name of in this fucking whole movie was Michael Fassbender because his name was so fucking stupid. I had to, you can't fucking forget that. Uh, I cannot name you one character's name in this movie. What any characteristics? Any of their motivations? Uh, they are nothing. They're just nothing, and they're just people on screen and that's fucking it uh they have random most random motivations like just out of nowhere like twist will be thrown like hell he has a partner who uh is a girl who just is thrown at uh, thrown in there like at the beginning out of nowhere and just given a very brief introduction and you're supposed to give a shit about her and then when you find out all these twists and turns, it's like you just I just don't give a shit about her character. I'm like, what the fuck? That when did that come out? Like, that, like, a lot of shit just comes out of nowhere uh, with this movie. Like J.K. Simmons is in this movie. He's a city. Like, why the fuck was J.K. Simmons in this movie? Um, he's not the most wasted person. I'll talk about that in a second. But he's. He has a little bit of a role in this movie, but he's in this in and out of this movie. You almost forget he's fucking in this movie, uh, and he's like some city council guy who's trying to get the Winter Olympics for this town or something like that. I don't know. I don't fucking care. Where did this place? Where does movie take place? Also, I didn't ever fuck it. I'm sure it's somewhere other European country, but it could have been America for all I fucking know. Honestly. I don't know. It, probably, it's, it was probably somewhere in Europe, Europe but um, yeah, J.K. Simmons is just a nothing character. You got oh fucking Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer is in this movie, people. Yeah. Uh, first off, I like I I saw his name pop up in the credits. I'm like Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer is in this movie. Okay, you got my intrigue now. Film. I'm like. Is he probably going to be the villain in this? Or the killer in this? Is, I would venture to guess because it's fucking Val Kilmer that he would be the killer in this movie. Um, and then he pops up and he's just randomly shown, like, out of nowhere, like, cut to him. Like, there's a scene with Michael Fassbender and then they cut to him. He's a detective too. With no context. He just pops up. And they're like, who the fuck is that guy? Why? And then he just disappears. And you're like, what is he? What, who the fuck is he? What does he have to do with this movie? <laughs> it's like that, that happens a lot in this movie. Like They'll cut the random characters. And you go, who is that? Why do I give a shit about them? And then like they'll disappear before you can ever get an answer. And then they just pop up randomly at the end of the movie. And just then you find out why they're in this movie. And you're like, <laughs> it's, it's, oh, god damn, I hated this movie. Um... Like I said, Val Kilmer is just wasted. And then, and then, like, what is up with is Val Kilmer? Okay, this is a serious question. I, I know this is going to sound like an insensitive prick question. Has Val Kilmer have, has had a stroke since, like, the last time we've seen him? It's like, he is talking very weird in this movie. Like, Somebody in the comments can tell me, like, what is going on with his voice in this movie? That is not, that does not sound like, to the point, I thought it was like somebody dubbed over him. Like, it was that fucking noticeable. Um, like, that cannot be Val Kilmer. Unless he had a fucking stroke between this movie, like, the last time I seen him. And he's lost a lot of weight, so good props for him, but, um... What the hell? Uh, man, poor Val. I was like, man, he looks like he still looks like shit. Uh, I like Val. He is an asshole, but I do like Val Kilmer. Um, uh, there's not much to fucking talk about. This movie's just so bland. Characters are bland. There's no characters. There's just nothing. The whole movie's bland. It's boring. Nothing fucking happens for majority of it. Uh, the twist of who the villain, the, the uh, who the killer is, is pretty much you can spot it a mile away from the beat. Right, introduced this character uh, to the character that's killer in this movie. You know that's 
probably gonna be the killer. Like, I remember saying it as soon as this character popped up, like, get it. That's probably the killer. And I was like, damn right! Cool! Um, it's so predictable. Um, and then, like, fucking anticlimactic, for fuck's sake. Like, how, how the killer is defeated is one of the dumbest things I've seen in a long damn time. Oh my god, was that stupid. Like, it's so dumb. I was like, really? I sat for two hours of this fucking movie, and that's the, like, the resolution. Now, part of me is like, I did fall asleep for a lot of this movie, was falling asleep. Maybe I missed parts of it, like, character development. I guarantee I did not. I fucking guarantee I didn't, because I wasn't, like, just, like, like, waking up, like, I would just, like, drift, like, but I would wake myself up, like, keep waking myself up, I would drift off a little bit, but but I, I can still hear the movie in my head while, while I was falling asleep. Uh, yeah, fuck this movie. It's, it's definitely one of the worst of the year. Easily. <laughs> uh, God. I, I'm not as bad about seeing it, because... I still use my movie pass, so I saw it for free, so I can't bitch about it. So, yeah, but fuck this movie. Don't watch this shit. Don't give it. Don't give this movie your money or your time. It's two hours of my life. I can't get back. I could have just slept for two hours, and that would have been better. Um, yeah, that's that's as far as the movie goes. Trailers. Uh, that. Darkest Hour, uh, and, uh, um, the well, Winston Churchill movie starring Gary uh, Oldman. That looks like he's gonna get his Oscar finally. God damn, he's only been Oscar. He's only been fucking nominated once. Once, Gary Oldman has only been nominated once for an Oscar. That is a fucking crime. Um, and uh, like it's almost unrecognizable him. And oh my god, it's crazy. I like how unrecognizable that. He is as Winston Churchill. I'll give him credit. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. It looks pretty good. Uh, oh yeah. By the way, speaking of Gary Oldman, you know the fucking movie The Snowman was directed by the guy who made fucking Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Yeah, that guy. And let the right one in. What the fuck? Uh, Justice League. Uh, this is a brand new trailer that I had seen briefly online, but I didn't really watch the full trailer until now. Man, I, I want to still have some high, a little bit of hope since Wonder Woman was good, but one out of four movies being good is still not good. Like, I know Zack Snyder's not. Well, he he still had pretty much. You know, say in the movie. He directed the fucking movie. Even though Josh Whedon had to step in late in the movie. The whole movie, I believe, was shot. I mean, it's sad what happened to Zack Snyder. I know that it's horrible what happened. I had nothing, but that's just one of the worst things I've heard of. But, um, yeah. I, I'm crossing my fingers. I will review it. I will say that. I will review it. I might not just see it not in 3D. I'll just watch it for free. Again, I might just be able to watch it for free. It sucks. So I'll get to watch it for free. I don't care. Um, anymore, I'll just fucking... I'll, I'll go see anything now. <laughs> um, Daddy's Home 2. Uh, yeah. Like I said, I didn't see the first one. But this movie does have me intrigued because it's Mel Gibson as Mark Wahlberg's dad. And John Lighthouse and Will Ferrell's dad. Like, hell fucking Yeah. Uh, as soon as I saw Mel Gibson, I'm still cracking up. Like, it's supposed to be a kids' movie, and their parents, you know, I get to see kids nowadays asking, Mommy, who's Mel Gibson? <laughs> That'd be an awkward conversation. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and then, last trailer I got was Just Getting Started. Uh, it's Morgan Freeman and Tommy Lee Jones are in like a retirement home that's run by Morgan Freeman and then Tommy Lee Jones is taking, trying to take over or something, whatever. It's, it's, eh, it looks alright. It's got, I like Tommy Lee, for a movie, like a comedy uh, of Tommy Lee Jones and featuring Tommy Lee Jones and Morgan Freeman, it was kind of like, oh, this is kind of just flat, but maybe it'll be good, who knows. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really laugh at that all in that trailer, but it's like, 
you'd think with those two, it'd probably be pretty funny, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, that's as far as trailers. Like I said, I got a few more reviews to do this week. Four, in fact. Um, so I'm going to get on with uh, trying to watch all these movies before fucking Friday. So until then, I'll talk to you guys later.